chef on a hunt. What? I got dragged in the bushes. Why? You're both making noises. You're making noises. I, I can't tell if you like or it's just something else. Who knows? I want to eat that bush. Shh. Keep it down. Oh, you're Keep doing that quest now? Yeah. I've always heard about the wide range of ingredients you can find in Mondstadt. And it looks like it's true. Are you a hunter? Pretty, Are you an adventurer? That was a pretty annoying quest. I'm no, done. I'm a chef. A chef on a mission. There's nothing to run around on that. ingredients from all corners of the world. Mm. Okay. My name's Xiang Ling. I'm from Liyue Harbor. And you? Coronata Zedek Hello, my name's Paimon. Paimon! What? Why? Why are you looking at me like that? Yes, why are you? What an exotic creature. Is it edible? Why? Go ahead. He's like, dig in. <laughs> no, we're friends. <sighs> what a bummer. Can't eat it if it's your friend. Oh my Ooh. god. Why would you ever think Paimon is delicious? It's like a running gag in a game. You seem like good friends. I have a good friend too. Called but she's Kaya. like emergency food. Uh huh. Isn't that the name of a Leo snack? <laughs> Both the snack and my friend have a special place in my heart. No. <laughs> anyway, can you do some hunting for me? There's lots of game around here that would be amazing to cook with. Oh god, you're like, everything's so wonderful and dandy! Why? Those are really long quests, I remember. I can't catch anything to save my life, and I don't want to miss out. You you really must suck at your job, then. <sighs> Sounds like a bit of an ordeal. You can't, like, a chef cooks the ingredients, hunter gathers the ingredients. A chef should not take the role of a hunter. But who am I to judge? Don't be like that. Come on, I'll whip you up a tasty snack later. Fine. <gasps> Ooh, you had me a... <laughs> Don't worry about it. Your friend has already given me a response. That's... I don't know how to interpret that, but I'll just go with it. I don't care how it's done, so long as you bring me back some raw meat. Why? Why? <laughs> Great! That'll leave you to it. So I gotta do your job for you. Astronomy trip started. Check out the quest menu. Do everything. Three chunks of raw meat. Jing jing jing. Oh, wait, I got them all. Oh, never mind. One of them dropped Lovely. all the raw meat. This is great! Some she, of it will shallow fry, some of it will deep fry. She's off in her own world. She's forgotten about us. How? Uh, sorry. I got all excited thinking about new recipes. As promised, a tasty snack. Are we your food testers now? Oh gosh, this is delicious. Can you tell us how to make it? <laughs> sure. The only thing is I haven't written down the recipe yet. I got it. I'll make another one now so you can watch. This seems pretty hard to make. It'll take more than that to learn how to make. Come on, it's simple. How? We can fry on a slab of stone and cook using some pork fat. Build a stove from rocks. Use dry grass for kindling, twigs for firewood. Sweet flowers will do for sugar. As for salt, I found a load of rock salt in a cave the other day. And there's still plenty left. Seems like she's done this more than a million times. <laughs> I just can't help myself when there's a chance to try something no. new. Give me a second while I get everything ready. It doesn't hey, take a second. What do you think? What do you think you're doing in the cups right now? This is the boar's natural habitat. You can't hunt them here. You send them all running. We hunters know better than to kill the chicken to get at the egg. Mm. Oh, I Wait, I thought that was a farmer, not a... From free-range boars that grow up in the environment nature intent. It would be a major blow to gastronomy. N no, That's why to I'm all mankind. Understanding it. I'm sorry. I got ex... <sighs> you should apologize to Draft. As our leader, he always stresses the importance of respecting the rules of the hunt. I do? made a mistake, and I should go and apologize. I went to cook and go after everything. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll cook up some more tasty snacks for you once this is over. Okay, don't worry. Paimon will remember even if you forget. 
I really wonder if you do remember it at all. Draft ought to be in spring camp. Let's go. Okay. You must be Xiang Ling. Xiang Ling. This part did just pronounced. How was the city pronounced? What? <laughs> how was the city pronounced? But like everyone's been pronouncing it Li Wei. And like I, I thought it was called Li Yue. And now that like, you're here in person. It's spelled L I Y U E. Hmm. But everyone's been calling it Li Wei, so I, I guess that's what it's pronounced. But then this guy just comes up and calls it Li Yue, which is what I've been calling it. So like, I'm confused. Yeah. How's it pronounced? <laughs> okay. If there's anything related to Chinese, Cantonese, Mandarin, that's out of my league. Like, I only know a bit of Japanese, and that's it. Please, help me promote my meat. No! Phrasing! Phrasing! <laughs> help me promote my meat. No. <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> Sorry if I was a little brash. Let me explain. <laughs> oh, you realize it now? Okay. Springvale has built its reputation on top quality meat products, but this reputation is so far limited to Mondstadt. I feel like there's going to be a lot of loss in translation moments in this game. When I heard that the great maestro Xiang Ling herself was in Mondstadt, I like asked the pronunciation of like everyone here sounds they have like accents and stuff. Mm. Maestro? Haven't you heard? She's the one behind Wan Min Restaurant, that one-of-a-kind folk restaurant in Liwe Harbor. A cuisine restaurant? You didn't say cuisine. Her unique take on cooking ingredients is behind some of the best-loved dishes in all of Liwe. They are very highly rated by travelers, too. Everything about this game is like a marketing thing. It's the best high quality of whatever it is. <laughs> You're too kind. I just try to cook things that are cheap and cheerful. With a top-notch chef cooking top-notch cuisine with top-notch meat from Springvale, our reputation would spread far and wide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Why? You're like, I don't do it for the reputation, I do it for the skill. I only ever think about how to make tasty dishes. I never limit myself to specific ingredients, and I don't know the first thing about promoting anything. You use boar meat all the time anyway, surely. I can't see what the issue is. The issue is she's intrinsic. You think it's all extrinsic. She does it for fun. You think it's a marketing thing. The issue is... What would you think if I added a bit of slime condensate? It's like, oh, damn it, you mixed up the dish. That's... Uh, I mean, well, could you screech. add something a bit more normal? Mmm, a cooking thing. There's no such thing as normal ingredients to me. You can turn anything into a delicacy if you cook it in the right way. Mm. I will not stand for having my creativity shackled by what ingredients I can and can't use. That is... cook like that is destined to be boring. That is... Period. That escalated quickly. Actually, if I was to think of a scenario which should escalate really quickly, it's not this. There are scenarios out there in which things do escalate. <laughs> well, <laughs> since you feel so strongly about it, forget it. But it really is a pity. I can't control you for marketing reasons, dang it. <laughs> Hello! May I have a taste of your delicious cooking? Sorry, I've taken all the orders I can for the next few days. The earliest I could put you down for is seven days from now. Is that okay? Oh my god, is that how long it takes to cook things? Wow, it must be delicious if it's that popular. What? Okay, there's one very clearly a popular chef. Yeah, good point. Why does Draft want Zhang Ling to help when Springville already has this lady? Because reputation and things from other countries because people like Chinese cooking. <laughs> because people like Chinese cooking. Hmm. Maybe he feels that Mondstadt cuisine can't compete with that of Tibet's biggest business hub, Luya Harbor. Chinese cooking. <laughs> but I disagree. I don't think my cooking is at all inferior to anyone else's. Chinese cooking. <laughs> well, then, yeah, I sent you a picture of what it looks like. Maybe I what? Can some feedback. Sorry, but customer feedback like Oh, that tasted good. It's no use to me. If I wanted feedback, I would ask a professional chef. Hang on. 
Are you? Xiang Ling? Oh my god. You're a professional? You're too young to be a professional. You're too young to race in this race. <laughs> <laughs> Says whoever told Speed Racer. That's me! Yes. Also, it's that person really was running you. in the background. Well, I guess you do know what you're doing when it comes to cooking meat, then. As it happens, I have one of today's prime cuts remaining. So tell me, how would you cook this? That depends on the ratio of fat to meat. With this cut, I would probably roast it over a hot stone with a little salt, some joyum chili, and kingsin flour. Kingsin flour? But the melted fat would make the flavor of the flowers ten times stronger than when eaten raw. It would overpower everything. I know, that's why it's a garnish. I would never marinate the meat in it. Mm -hmm. I tried it before. If you baste the petals in oil and then cook them with the right heat and duration, it gets rid of the bitterness completely and leaves you with a lovely crispy topping. Then throw in some joyum chilies grown at a high altitude where the low humidity and varying temperatures lends them a unique dry heat. I, I, what? The petals absorb the saltiness from the sea salt, the chili spice, and the umami of the tender freshly grilled steak, while also adding a floral aftertaste. Umami. That's a Japanese term, and yet she's presenting herself with a Chinese name? Which makes me question, how did she kn know about the term umami? Uh, that's pure overkill. You're going all out on the trimmings and doing no justice to the meat whatsoever. Isn't that the whole point of cooking? Who wants to eat a roast when you can taste everything except the roast? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop arguing. I don't think they can hear anything but, anything but themselves, anyone but themselves. <laughs> well, there's only one surefire way out of a cooking dispute. I declare a cook-off. Aw, oh, damn it. Suits <laughs> me. If you can't beat my cooking, it'll show that draft was clearly wrong about you. All right. But if I win, you have to use my winning dish to promote Springvale. Isn't it going right back to square one about the marketing thing? And if you lose, you have to add my winning dish to the Wan Mean menu. With a caption saying, This special addition to the Wan Mean menu is generously provided by Chef Brooke of Springvale. Meat expert. Meat hmm. expert? You're a meat expert? It's a deal! I'm off to get ingredients! I will see you Wait! You didn't Wait. even say leeway! <laughs> Let's try and catch up! You didn't even say what it was. One eternity later. There you are. I think we're getting close. So what? Have you decided what you're looking for yet? No, of course not. Then how are you so sure of yourself? That's just my style. If I decided in advance exactly how I was going to cook something, there'd be no element of surprise to the dish. In the same way, if I knew what I was looking for before I found it, it wouldn't be a surprise. Oh, but that's so risky! Relax. This is how I came up with all the signature dishes at Wan Mean Restaurant. Bye. Well, let's look what? around here. I'll let you know when I find something I like. Okay. So, continue looking for the right ingredients. What are we looking for, and how are we going to look for it? Now look up here. A few moments later. Okay, I still definitely feel like we're lacking something. What do you mean? It's missing a little boom shakalaka. Yeah, now that you mention it, it is a little boom shakalaka lacking. Uh, you understand this? <laughs> Brooke may be a stickler for convention, but she is a talented chef nonetheless. There's no doubt she will source the fanciest quality ingredients. Something like... Sea serpent salad. Ah, a slime jill. <laughs> I know how weird it sounds, but I guarantee you it tastes incredible. I'll mix right. it for you next time. Can we just try it? <laughs> you won't be disappointed when you taste it. Although it looks a teensy bit gross. Never mind that. I just remembered there's somewhere I never checked out last time. My gut tells me that's where we'll hit the jackpot. Let's take a look. Alright, where else do we have go to go? Oh god, it's down there. Reach one end. What's that? Hold <gasps> off. Somebody's injured! <laughs> so, so cold. That's not an injury, that's just shivering. being cold. We need to work, make a fire! Hot tea could be even better. How about I look 
after him while you make him a nice warm bowl of We passed a hillitro camp on the way here. That won't great. Be as quick. Uh, give the hunter a soup you prepared. Mm. Oh, that is better. Thank you. That soup really did the trick. Your voice sounds really, like, overwhelming. What happened? Did you get frozen? Oh, this yes. story just turned dark. I was chasing a boar. And after that chasing story took a boar this way, he slipped into those underground ruins over there. I followed him inside, but ran into a cryo regisfine that froze me instantly. When I woke up, I ran straight outside, but I only made it this far before. How big was it exactly? Wait, what? That's not what was said. I'd heard of them before from others, but this was the first time seeing one with. Yikes! We should definitely keep our distance from the ruins. It sounds delicious. What? Seriously? You're not thinking. Anything about does anything not make you think about food? That's it. The missing ingredients. The icing on the cake. The ice bore. Calm down. Can we really eat a tree that's that aggressive? Only one way to find out. Let's go. Eat a tree. Oh god. This, this <sighs> quest I just took just took a really dark turn. Do not worry about me. I'll be fine. But you must stop her. She's putting herself in grave danger. Also, that ice flower is constantly freezing the water. <laughs> Catching up to Jane in the ruins. There's like nothing here. Lucky dog feather. I need a sturdy equipping stuff. Secret ingredient. Recommended party level. We're in a nice cave. Not quite the nice cave, but okay. Slow down! It's dangerous in here! Zhang Lang. Ingredients don't stay fresh for long. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Taxi the shield, which is compromised of dendro. Maybe there's a way to set it on fire. Indeed. Crap. Blazing Daduk. Yeah, whatever that means. Electro superconductors occur. 
her. Super Dragon Act deals her damage significantly, increases physical resistance. Nice, so if you attack something whilst being electrocuted, you do a lot more damage. Stop taking the Power Rangers route. You can grab another shield off the wall. Alright, let's see you. There we go, now, 
to get it. down with a glass of wine. <laughs> Your version just ruins it. Too late. Wait, there's something else here too. The frozen this ball. This must be the boy that Hunter was chasing. But Paimon's never seen one with this pattern before. Where have I seen this before? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. It was in the Historia Naturalis of Liwe. This pattern is unmistakable. It belongs to a breed of boar that went extinct 300 years ago. How would anyone back wow. then... How is this Never one mind. still alive after so long? Accidental cryopreservation, won the genetic lottery, won the genetic lottery. It's got, it's got to be... <laughs> like, it's one thing to preserve something, but it's... Like, I feel like so the Darwin argument wins this one. There's only so much time you can put in the freezer, but this one kind of works in the end. Paimon's pretty sure that's not really possible. Oh, really? How would you know it's possible? Extinction because its meat was so highly prized. Condensate of jumbo cryos live and extinct boar. Not one, but two priceless treasures. This will be a winning ticket. Because it looks like a lottery. Right. Now let's get back to Springvale. Okay. Okay. Let's see how it is. Goal. Quest goals in. Head there to continue. Alright, where's the the ender thingy? Good. Any more suggestions there? Nemo. Olaf! I got them growl deals. Are you sure this is Springvale? Uh, yes, for the millionth time, yes. But I don't know any of the people you're looking for. They look exactly the same. That is not possible. They all live in Springvale. They are my neighbors and friends. What? This is strange. What is going on? They they almost look the same. One's wearing white vest, the other's I think I see what's going on here. Did you actually get like preserved for millions of years or something? What is it? This hunter is a survivor for three hundred years ago. What? Can humans really live that long? No. Uh does that really Sense? Me and the boar were both frozen and the ice kept it fresh all this time, like, with your ingredients. Oh! Like the way that you keep food fresh! Mmm... Still, it's hard to believe. But it doesn't seem like there's any other sensible explanation! Okay, so... What's your... Olaf. Olaf? Oh, I'm sure I've seen that on my family tree. I wonder you look alike. I can't remember which generation it was from, but it was definitely on there. A great, 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 great grandfather, but with a whole lot more greats? What an unusual turn of events! Yes, your distant ancestor meets your descendant. <laughs> Reunited at long last! Isn't that just amazing? Uh, Olaf, do you want to come and watch a cooking competition? Ah, yes, that reminds me. Brooke told me about the competition, and I've set everything up at the venue. Uh-huh. You so should you come with me. You should come with me. We should do this together. We're ready to cook. Are you? No. I was born ready. No, you're not. Oh, and Sigfria will be my assistant for the Then let the cooking commence. And don't worry, I may have known Brooke for longer, but I will remain entirely impartial. Mm. Much appreciated. Well then, Traveler. Paimon? Traveler. Prepare! Wait! We're taking part in this too? Of course! If Brooke has an assistant, you guys will have to be mine! <sighs> Paimon doesn't remember applying for that job. Uh, I'm gonna see this room. I guess there's no going back now. Okay, Paimon will do it for the sake of the food! <sighs> we have to do like a... Uh, during the cooking showdown. Eventually. I don't know if it was the right decision, but I will. This was a fine feast. I have dined today like I have never dined before. Both chefs' dishes today were nothing short of exceptional. They were true masterpieces. But 
This is a competition, and there can only be one winner. Shang Ling. Really? I got it done right. I win! Not by at all. I thought I was sure to win with pork chops so fresh they were practically still grunting. Really? But it turns out that's still no match for the taste of extinct boar. Hmm. Excuse me? Did you say this was cooked from extinct boar? Yep. Every last bit. Cooked My up. goodness. A single mouthful must be worth a hundred thousand mora. Yeah. The amount you'd make if you sold this could support every hunter in town for years to come. <laughs> the main thing is that you enjoyed eating it. I don't care about the mora. Exactly. You only anyway, do it for fun. Now you don't care about the money. This verdict, it's time for everyone else to eat. Meanwhile, I want to try Brooke's dish. Mm. This is absolutely delicious. I'll admit it. I was beaten by the best. Right. Losing is no fun. But it was worth it for the chance to eat such superb cooking. Please, Shanling. I want some more. Cheek free off. This is gorgeous, too. I was Such a of perfectly off. layered texture. Were it not for that exquisite boar and excellent side dish, it's hard to say if I still would have won. Paimon's turn to eat. Mm. I will have a taste, too. Oh, my, oh, my. This is the taste of Springvale. Or rather... It tastes so good, I want to just cry. It used to be. This like is the last time you will be able to taste the food of my era. Hey, now. Cheer up. I can always make you some more. Really? But the boar, it's extinct. The boar may be, but the taste isn't. I can simply recreate it using different ingredients. Mm. Putting a smile on customers' faces is what we chefs are called to do. Thank you. Tell that to Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> yeah, tell that to Gordon Ramsay. But everyone's <laughs> now. Let's go and say goodbye to Xiang Ling. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Without your help, I don't know how it would have gone today. And without you, Paimon wouldn't have gotten to try so many new tasty snacks. Because that's what she's doing. I wouldn't for. have gotten so full. Where will we go now? Not sure. I'll probably start heading back to Liue, but I might change my plan on the way. Uh huh. I like to As if you rhyme. Thoroughly. Who knows? Maybe you'll bump into me out in the wild again. Right. Must be nice to be so carefree. You are a gifted chef. I swear You're they're the same voice the actor now that I realize muscles. it. Come and visit me at the Wanmin restaurant sometime. I did promise I'd cook for you. And if you want, I'll teach you how to cook some of my latest inventions too. Ah, uh, It's a 